Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to part 5 of Chrono Trigger Labels' His Awakening. And in the last part, we defeated um, the Yaka in the Cathedral. And now we need to return to the present, so let's do just that. Now that Molly's back with us, we can go back to the present and take her back to the castle. And there's a force fight here, I forgot about this fight. We should be able to clean this up though, pretty easily. Now that my guys are level 7, we can probably just normal attack these things and not spend any MP on them. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, we finished the cathedral in the last part and defeated the Yakra. And now we need to go back to the present. I think one more hit should kill him. Yep. Alright, so that's it for them. Uh, We got an ether, nice. Let's see, Marley... Oh yeah, I did learn Aura and Provoke off camera. So, we already have all the text so far. And we won't be getting any new text until... A bit later. Alright. And I forgot to check Luca's equipment. I hope she doesn't have my speed belt because I might be needing that. Maybe. Why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the, either the teleport has something to do with it or something else made it. Alright, so let's just head back to 1000 AD. And damn, I meant to go downstairs and get me some tea, but I forgot. That's okay though. Alright. We're back. And Luca's gonna run off, I believe. Okay, so now we need to escort the princess home. Let's check something real quick. Okay, she didn't have my speed, but I think she had the. That accessory that gives people plus one. I think that's what she had. Uh, anyways, let's just keep moving. Uh, these monsters in the forest out here shouldn't be too bad with just two people. So we should be okay. Actually, let me check the shop and see if they have anything good. I know I need to upgrade Marley because we really haven't used her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this since we have the money. Get her a maiden suit and let's see, 53 tonics. Now, what I could do is sell this. I think I'm gonna sell that and then get some revives because I might be needing some in this next part here. Uh, let's. Go ahead and get three for now. So now we have ten. I think ten should be enough. I hope it's enough. Let's give her that. And give her that. And we're gonna go ahead and give her the ribbon for now. Chrono's just find where he is. Actually, I'll go ahead and give the speed belt to him. So he'll have 14 speed. Alright. So into the forest. I think there's a power tab over here. I think. Yep, there is. Bingo. Power tab. And we're going to go ahead and use that on Chrono. Organize. Power tab. Yep. Okay. 
And let's go ahead and fight these monsters here. Yeah, like I said, they shouldn't be too bad. Like, we can probably just normal hit them. Yeah, we can one-shot these guys. Pretty easily. And they do a little bit of damage, but not enough to worry about. Dead. Yep. And just a second here. There we go. Alright, let's keep moving. Now, what have we here? A bellbird? Oh, avian chaos. Okay, we can kill these guys though. Crit. Good job, Molly. And he's gonna miss with that, thank goodness. Let's go ahead and get him out of here before he confuses anybody. And we can't have that. I'm pretty sure confusion won't really matter too much, but still, confusion is confusion. Or chaos in this game. Same difference though. Can we cyclone these things? They're not close enough. I don't think they're gonna move, so let's just normal hit them. And either I'm getting lucky with the evasion or these guys don't have a high of a hit a high hit stat or something. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure that the next boss is gonna hit really hard, so hopefully we should be okay for it. Uh yeah, I can't really grind. I don't think I need to grind though. Alright, let's go ahead and save. And get this little scene over with. Where they I know I know I'm gonna get put on trial. And no matter what you've done at the Millennial Fair, you're gonna get thrown in jail anyway. So yeah. I'm just gonna skip this part. Or speed through this as fast as we can. Yeah, yeah, get detained and get taken to court. Blah, blah, blah. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I had that tune stuck in my head all of a sudden. We now bring forth the defendant, Krona, who was charged with abducting Princess Nadia. Did I really? Because I seem to recall that she came along with me willingly. But of course they're not going to listen to me. Krona was charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. In fact, the princess asked Colonel if she could join him. Exactly. It doesn't matter what you say, really. I mean, the events at the fair and what you say at the trial, it just really um, affects what the jurors vote. And I think one of the jurors is glitched or something too. Well, that's what I heard a while ago. That one of the jurors was glitched. Have you ever stolen anything? Uh, yes, I have. In fact, I have stolen something because when I did my grinding, well, not grinding, but I did, I did do a little bit of grinding off Gato. And I did kind of take this guy's lunch to refill my HP. <laughs> I mean, it was right there, so. It was better than walking all the way out and sleeping. 
and whatnot. The issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No. There was none. Her fortune did tempt you. Uh, no. You really weren't tempted? Eh. Yeah, I was. Just a bit. I was tempted by her fortune. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say I was. But chances are I'm probably gonna get voted not guilty anyway. Oh, there's a guilty vote. I see. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. I mean, technically, I, I didn't do anything. Because actually, this trial is pretty much a sham set up by the Chancellor, but we'll learn about that later on in the game. So the verdict is not guilty, but I'm going to get sent to prison anyway. I did run off with her, so my punishment, my so called punishment is solitary confinement. That's enough, my dear. All I ask for you, even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about the events in town. And I get dragged off to prison. But yeah, like I said earlier, this. Next boss is probably going to hit really hard, probably insanely hard. I don't know how hard he's going to hit, but hopefully we should be okay for him. I don't know. We'll have to see. This terrorist has tried to overthrow our kingdom, really now. He's been found guilty and you must now carry out his sentence. Push me. And they're trying to execute Chrono. Now, the question is should I try to bust out on my own or wait the three days? Because, one, I don't know how strong these guards are down here. And two, having an extra party member while I'm trying to break out would help. So, let's go ahead and drink this first. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and save. As soon as I touch the save point, there we go. And I think this is probably a good place to stop. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here. In the next part we'll be breaking out of prison. So I'll see you guys later.